December 11th, today's scripture. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. Jeremiah 23, verse 5, the King James Version. Today's guide, when preparing for today, think about the following. Aligning your actions and intentions. Food for thought. In today's scripture, we are given a prophecy, a promise of hope and restoration. It speaks of a future where a righteous descendant of David will rise to power, bringing justice and righteousness to the land. This promise encapsulates the essence of healing and restoration. In times of distress or personal struggle, this scripture serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path toward healing. It's a reminder that amidst chaos and adversity, there's a promise of a better tomorrow. The imagery of a righteous branch rising for David symbolizes not only the restoration of a lineage, but also the healing of a nation and of individuals. God's promise isn't solely about physical healing, but also the restoration of our souls. It speaks of healing that mends brokenness, a balm that soothes wounds, and a renewal that brings hope. The promise of a righteous ruler signifies a time when justice and righteousness prevail, wounds are healed, and peace and harmony are restored. We're invited to embrace this promise in our lives. It encourages us to seek healing in all aspects, physical, emotional, and spiritual. It is a reassurance that amidst life's difficulties, there's a divine plan for restoration, a promise of healing for those who are hurting. Reflecting on this scripture allows us to find comfort in the belief that our healing is part of a grander design and our restoration is part of a divine promise. Gratitude. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that surrounds us. It's a lens through which we see the world fully, appreciating not just the grand gestures, but also the small everyday blessings. If you're struggling to find gratitude today, here are a few prompts that might help. One, reflection on promises. Consider the promise in the scripture. Think about how the idea of a righteous ruler bringing justice and wisdom can inspire gratitude, especially in moments when the world might seem chaotic or unfair. Reflect on the hope this promise brings. Two, personal blessings. List specific things you're grateful for. They can be simple like the warmth of the sun or the kindness of a friend, or bigger things like having a home, good health, or supportive relationships. Three, challenges turn blessings. Recall a difficult situation or challenge you faced. Reflect on what you've learned or gained from it. Sometimes the hardest moments offer valuable lessons or opportunities for growth, giving rise to gratitude for the strength gained. Four, acts of kindness. Think about instances where someone was kind to you or you were able to be kind to someone else. Reflect on the generosity and compassion in those moments and the feeling of gratitude it brings. Five, community and support. Consider the people in your life. Reflect on those who support and love you. Gratitude often arises when we appreciate the individuals who stand by us through thick and thin. Using these prompts in the scripture's promise of a righteous leader can be a powerful way to center yourself in gratitude, even in challenging times. Today's prayer. Lord, you give us David as an example of the heart matters. David's heart was devoted to you, yet he was flawed in many ways as we are today. He had a passionate love for you, Lord. Help me in who I am to be wise, loving, and devoted to you. Amen.